Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily create a color portrait effect from a photo, and then how to quickly apply it to other photos. Open a color photo of someone. The first step is to convert it into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively as well as replace the photo without having to redo the effects. To do this, click the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. Make a copy of the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Change its blend mode to lighten and click the bottom layer to make it active. Go to Filter, Pixelate, and Mesotint. I'll choose short lines. However, feel free to experiment with the other types. You can always change it later. Then, click OK. Make the top layer active and click the Adjustment Layer icon. Click Black White. This removes all the color from your image. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. We'll fill the empty layer with white, but first, check your foreground and background colors. If they aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Since the background color is white, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete to fill the empty layer with white. Open your elliptical marquee tool and drag your tool to the opposite corner. Go to Select and Transform Selection. Click the chain link icon to link the width and the height. In either field, type in 90%. Notice the width and the height are both 90%. To accept it, Click the check mark. Go to Select, Modify, and Feather. Feather it 200 pixels and click OK. We'll fill the selection with black, and since black is the foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Then deselect it. We'll add the Mesotint filter to this image. Since the last filter we used was Mesotint, press Ctrl or Command F. Open the Channels panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Channels. Click the circular icon at the lower left to make a selection of your image. Invert the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift I. Open back the Layers panel and press the Delete key on your keyboard. Then, deselect it. Next, we'll add a bit of color back into your portrait. Click the Layer Mask to make it active. Open your Brush Tool and Brush Picker. We'll adjust the size in a moment. Make the hardness 0% and press Enter or Return. Make the opacity 30%. To make your brush bigger, press the right bracket key on your keyboard. Make it approximately this size relative to your image. Click a few times over the same spot to reveal the color. To reveal more color in smaller areas like the eyes, make your brush smaller by pressing the left bracket key and then brush over those areas. Next, I'll show you how to quickly replace your subject with another photo. Double-click any smart object to open its source image. If you're working on version CC or later, go to File and place Embedded. If you're working on an earlier version of Photoshop, I'll tell you what to do in a moment. Click an image you'd like to replace your original photo with and click Place. If you're using a version of Photoshop earlier than CC, Open your new photo and drag it onto the tab of your source image. Without releasing your mouse or pen, 
drag it down onto the source image and release. If you're using CC or later, the transform tool is already open. However, if you're using an earlier version, press Ctrl or Command T. Go to a corner, and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it out or in. Then press Enter or Return. Click the small X on the right of the tab of the source document to close it. When you see this message, click Yes to save the changes. We need to replace the areas that we brushed onto the layer mask because those areas were specifically made for the last photo. Click the layer mask to make it active and fill it with white by pressing Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Adjust the size of your brush and brush over your portrait to reveal the color. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.